Should just be a little bit of ice in here today. Oh boy, come on, why me? <laughs> oh, what do I know? Ooh. It's crazy how that does that in a day. As if it's any different than any day that I've done already. temperature check here 30 degrees still I don't think it's gonna get any colder than 30 degrees coldest it's ever been is 25 or 29 29 I tried to put more water in here last night, but my, my hose is frozen, so it didn't work out that, that well. Today is day 19. This ice keeps coming to the front, which I can't have. This is what I hate when you're coming out here and you already don't want to get in. And then you gotta do this shit. It just makes the procrastination so much more. Which is why I breathe a little different because it just increases my anxiety. Hopefully we can get some water in here. Whew. I need more water in here. <sighs> Yesterday, one of the late, later workouts I've had. Felt good to just not really worry too much about, you know, timing and time management. Almost felt free. It's a great workout. First time working out in the gym in four years. I got to do some cardio after too. I liked it. Probably do it once a week though. I don't want to be that guy in the camera or in the gym with the camera every day. Feeling good though. Feeling super motivated. Don't even know what I'm doing today. Didn't even think about it. So, once I figure that out, you'll either see me in the garage or see me tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna get more water in here if my hose is frozen. Might have to five gallon bucket it. That's the only thing that sucks with taking out the ice is it's so much of your water. Do a, a lot. This is gonna be the longest day we've stayed in here. I 
don't time myself either. I just try to mentally gauge and I'm pretty damn good at getting the time I want. I've been doing a lot of three minute days, which I want to do longer. But I haven't really gone backwards in the sense of going under three minutes, which the goal from the beginning was to reach three minutes, but I think I want to get more to the four to five minute range now. Afraid this ice is gonna hit me in the face when I choose to go under. I had more to talk to you about. We've made it to day 20, and the ice isn't bad because I was out here last night making sure. I also had to fill it up by hand, about 30 gallons. Yeah, that's how you cut yourself, boys. That's why you get this hammer from 1922. It's actually pretty nice out. I mean, the wind chill kind of shit, but it's like 40 some degrees right now. That was weird. My the wind wasn't allowing me to breathe right there. <sighs> See how close I am to the sun? Can't wait. It actually doesn't even reach this point of my backyard, unfortunately. This this wind is making it pretty cold. I'm going to get a lot done today, do a little bit of work in the garage, a little bit of back and buys, just going to somehow try to increase my intensity times two today.
you know, I woke up today, looked at, looked myself in the mirror, which, believe it or not, was 10 minutes ago, and just said, what are you going to do to do better than you were yesterday? You know, just trying to get 2% better every day. It's super attainable. Like, what did I do yesterday that I could do better today? And just start checking my boxes. I don't have much to say today. So I'm just chilling. I'm so focused, I'm sorry. Not much to conversate about. Just ready to get busy. Weather's gonna be nice the next two days. Then we're getting back to like the 18 degree nights. I don't really care. I'm honestly hoping it gets cold and stays cold for a while. Just to keep the efficiency of these cold plunges as high as I can. Cause in the summer we're gonna be fucked. I'm gonna have to spend so much money on ice just to probably get like a, a 55 or 50 degree water. Which I mean is still gonna have the same effect, but not to the intensity of this. Yesterday I did five minutes on a dot without timing myself, just mentally gauging it. I don't know how I keep dialing in like perfect times. So, gotta stay consistent, so. I gotta do five minutes today. Hopefully I can mentally gauge that. It's not like, a, it's never been like a, I'm so cold, I gotta get out of here. I've never had that feeling. Like obviously it's cold as shit, but like the longer I stay in here, the comfort, more comfortable I get, the more used to it I get. Like you can see instantly, obviously, as soon as my breathing gets under control, I'm chilling. Like then I have a take a couple nice deep breaths and then I can just sit here and watch a movie, honestly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, day 20, we are back today. We are actually gonna put our chest and back workouts in their own day, just so I can continue to work out, you know, cause you know, there's only four, four workout groups that I would have and you know, being as sore as long as I have, it means I have to take quite a few days off cause my muscles aren't ready to recoup. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an arm day and take away the buys and tries from chest and back just to, you know, keep, keep going and uh, add a little bit more intensity, so. Today we got back, we are going to start with close grip pull downs. We're gonna do two warm up sets of 12 to 15 and then we're gonna do four, warm, four sets of 12. And then after that, we're gonna do hyper extensions, which I am not a fan of. My lower back is absolutely fried. That's why I don't do deadlifts. 
which is funny because like my ego wanted me to deadlift today or at least just do like trap bar deadlifts which still hurt my back a lot but you know just just to be able to throw some weight around but we're gonna avoid that so we're gonna do some hyper extensions we're gonna do three sets of 12 then after that we are going to do a seated row which is like a configuration from this um, lat pull down which is very interesting to uh, to set up but we're gonna get that that done and then after that we are going to superset standing dumbbell rows more of like an isolation row not like an aggressive pull or anything just nice super clean and we're actually going to superset that with an oblique twist with resistance so kind of i'll either probably use a resistance band coming across myself or i'll just use the cable machine we'll figure that out when we get there and then after that we're going to do some high intensity interval training so day 20 I literally just got out of the cold plunge. The water's still moving from my big ass getting out of there. Uh, I'm feeling super motivated and uh, I'm ready to get busy. Gotta warm up our, our shoulders as always probably wondering why I'm looking like Larry the Lobster in this right now. I just wanted to add an extra layer. Just to get a little warmer, sweat a little bit more. Hopefully increase my heart rate and the intensity. Probably would look better under my other hoodie, which I usually do, but I'm sure you guys are tired of me looking like I only have one outfit. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with this and my warm-up set. Rest period is about 40 seconds. Really gonna push that today. First working set of four. Stretch and squeeze. These are ugly. That's that rest period catching up to me. I just took a quarter off. I don't really want to force these because me forcing these just brings my biceps into play a lot. And I need to save those. So just trying to drive with my elbows. 
which one the rich raps are on. Biceps are kind of on fire. Which I hate. Biceps are burning, boy. That's probably my least favorite exercise. Maybe it's because it sucks. No, because it crushes my fucking nuts. I hate it. Fucking nuts. I don't know what to do. Another one of those workouts here that are it's kind of unorthodox. I'm a lot lower to the ground. Kind of got to bend my body forward to get my contraction here. Second time I've ever done this movement on this machine. I can do this on the cable machine, but there's not enough weight. Squeeze feels so good. Huh. Getting so much lat involvement in this movement here, which is hard to do in here because I say back is probably the least accessible in here out of everything that I have in here. But gotta find ways to get through it, baby. It's just like the shit I was kind of talking about. It was like I just started sweating. 
and the workout's almost over. It's just so cold in here. Here's this movement, single dumbbell row, standing, and then we're gonna superset it with oblique twist, which we're gonna do kind of aggressively, so. So the reason we're doing it this way is to get our core to stabilize as well. And then we're gonna superset it with an oblique movement. Oh, we're leaking now, baby. I'm gonna be aggressive with my rotation, but I'm gonna keep my hips going forward, facing forward. Probably the hardest I push myself so far. Feeling kind of pukey right now. That, that probably comes with a lot of core shit though. are definitely uh, the workouts where you know you contemplate how, how can you give up what can I do to change these exercises do something else because these are hard but once you get through them you're gonna thank yourself and your body will too especially if you're just trying to make changes don't be afraid to push yourself I'm telling you like scale one to ten I'm about an eight or a nine on not wanting to do this just because it's taxing. But I want it too bad to cheat myself. So let's keep it moving. It's all about how bad you want it. Ask yourself. Come on, crew. Get out of your head. 
only sucks because you put yourself in this position. Nobody else. Do something about it. Love this shit. If I check my heart rate right now, guarantee you I'm like 170 easily. Come on, baby. Let's go. Proud of you. Let's go. Holy shit. That was one of the, that was the best workout so far, day 20. Just finding ways to push and see what we can do. Like I said in the cold tub this morning, what can we do to be 2% better every day? Like, I don't even think I need to do hit training right now because of what this last movement in, involved, especially heart rate wise. And I tried to push myself even harder on the oblique twist just because I knew my body was telling me to stop. It's probably, I probably got a little loud in the microphone while doing them. But I didn't stop that whole time. There was no break. I literally just said, you know, obviously you don't want to do this. It sucks. But like, you know what, let's make it suck as much as we can. Pause. So I just wanted to push myself and I, I did. I'll probably end up doing some cardio though, of some sort. Definitely ain't gonna be hit, hit training. My heart rate's too high. And I'm just trying to play that safe. Not even being funny. I noticed too, you'll see it in the video because it's obviously the day before, or two days, two days ago. You know, I usually do a brisk walk on the treadmill. I'm talking at like a 2.8 on a treadmill and just doing that. As soon as I got on, <clears throat> I, you know, I checked my heart rate. It was 157, which is fucking terrible. You know, so I don't wanna 
I don't want to play with fire. I don't want to, you know, push my heart rate to a, to a place that's, that's not good territory. Like my goal for being on the treadmill is honestly 125 to 135. I have no reason to go any higher. And it stayed at that state probably for maybe 20, 25 minutes. In the hot, the lowest I even got it, I even lowered the incline all the way and I walked at like a 2.1. I did, I did it like a like 1.6 .6 miles. The lowest I can get my heart rate was 141, which is terrible, but it's like the point of this whole process. It's let's just get better. Okay, now I need to get better on that point. You know, one thing that I wanted to do in the beginning, which I didn't do, was check my blood pressure, because obviously that was one of my goals. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that today, get my blood pressure checked. Obviously, you know, I'm probably 23 pounds down from the beginning. So we'll just have to go off that as a basis too. And soon, I'm gonna drive down to Erie PA and get a DEXA scan, which is like a complete in-depth scan of your body from body fat, bone mass, lean mass, every little detail you can. I wish I would've did that in the beginning as well, but just wasn't really in the cards. You know, there's other places locally that have different types of scans or whatever, but the DEXA scan is the most efficient scan you can do for, you know, getting all those, that information to the teeth. So I want to do that sooner than later because I don't want to be halfway through this program and go get that checked. It would be super ideal to do it in the beginning, but, you know, to have a starting point. Like, I could just wait till the end and be like, and just guess at how fucking fat I was, but that wouldn't be fair to anybody. I'd rather give real results. Like I said, though I'm, I'm already decently a way in, you know, at least getting some type of information when I still have room to, to lose. Because I feel like the more we get into this, the more it's going to be focal and really focal to really dialing it in because we're going to have to decrease some calories and really be smart about our workouts. So sooner than later, hopefully soon, but who knows? I might just do something locally just to get it done quicker. So that's day 20. Holy shit, day 20. So let's just do a, like, I guess we'll just say where I'm at on day 20. You know, my anxiety is getting better. I'm learning that a lot of my anxiety comes from the cold plunge and just the anticipation of getting in to the water when you're not even awake yet knowing that it's gonna shock your body, you know? Just kinda like, you know, like you're nervous to do something, that's what it is. So I stopped giving it that much credit. So I'm like getting better at controlling that mentally. And just, and a lot of people have been asking me on social media, although, well, I guess they're looking at the day 20 reels, but you know, when I have my numbers, when I say anxiety, like if my numbers are high from a scale of one to 10, that means I'm having high anxiety. And then in the mental standpoint, that means my mental is good in that standpoint. Physically, I'll feel good. My mood, I feel good. You know, just kind of gauging it that way. I guess if you can look at, you know, if you ask the question, what is his anxiety on a scale of one to 10? Obviously, being higher would be high anxiety. Like, how does he feel physically on a scale of one to 10? Okay, higher. So that's how it gauges. And a lot of people also ask me if that's based off the cold punch. It has nothing to do with the cold punch. So like I'd literally get into the cold plunge 10 to 15 minutes as soon as I wake up. And before I even get out of bed, I'm on my, I'm either in my notebook or my phone, writing uh, my initial, I woke up, what does my anxiety feel like? What is my mood, my joints, and how did I sleep? That's what that is. It has nothing to do with the cold plunge. Although in my notebook, I do write my reaction to every cold plunge that I've done so far. I don't know if you want me to share that information with you. I kind of talk about it a little bit, I guess, in a tub. I mean, I guess all I say in the tub is, holy shit, or this is cold, or this sucks. But I, I'll, I'll try to share that information with you as well. I gotta get caught up on these videos. So today is day 20. I only have day three and four posted. That I'm on day four. So I actually have a video in the chamber on YouTube, Ready to Rock, which is my shoulder day before I go to Florida. Then I'm gonna do the whole Florida video together and hopefully I can get caught up, you know. Got a little bit of work to do, gonna actually do some rearranging, not really rearranging, just clean up a little bit in the garage. And uh, that's it, excuse me, that's our day 20.
Let's go start eating, and then we'll see you in the water tomorrow. I probably stopped working out maybe 10 minutes ago, and this is going to be my heart rate. See what I'm saying? Oh, and it's really I can't take no loss. Huh. I don't even know what it costs.